guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video are my top uh, skincare items for traveling. So today I'm gonna be sharing all the skincare items um, that I like to take traveling with me that are beneficial for me and my skin. And these tips that I'm gonna be sharing will be useful for anyone who is traveling um, to a hot country, a sunny country, um, just to protect your skin from the sun and its harsh rays. So I'm going to be sharing things from sun creams um, to face creams, things for sensitive skin, makeup, things that are good for traveling, skincare that is good for traveling in the sun in a hot country. So yeah, let's just get started. So I'm going to start with a sun cream. Now I'm not going to talk about standard generic sun creams. Um, you can get those anywhere. I like to use the Nivea blue sun creams. They are some of my favorite sun creams I like the UVA and UVB protection and whatever it's called But recently a few years ago. I've discovered a sensitive skin sun cream So like I said, I use the blue Nivea sun creams. I would use those for my full body um, And then I would use this sensitive sun cream on my face so this is the Nivea Protect and Sensitive um, Sun Cream. Mine is in the Factor 50. You can get Factor 30 in this as well. It's water resistant, um, UVA and UVB protection. So I like to use this sensitive sun cream on my face. I have really sensitive skin. My face burns in the sun very easily. And um, when I put sun cream on my face, it usually gets into my eyes and I have eye irritation. When I use this sensitive one, I have zero eye irritation. No matter how much I rub it all over my eyes, this does not hurt my eyes. And it's really gentle on my sensitive skin as well. So I just really, really love this sensitive sun cream. I actually bought this. You can get this from Asda, Home Bargains. I think you can probably get it on Amazon as well. So if you can, I will link it down below. But definitely check out the sensitive sun cream. It was a game changer for me. I use the blue sun cream on the rest of my body and I just use this on my face and it is amazing. I love it. That's it for sun creams. Um, now I'm gonna talk about after sun. Now this is kind of essential. You have to take this traveling with you it's it's non-negotiable you have to take this traveling with you it's very likely that you are going to burn if you are going to a hot sunny country whether that's spain whether that's mexico whether that's america australia anywhere where it's so hot and the harsh sun is going to be on your skin all day if you're sunbathing or if you're walking you are probably more likely than not you are going to burn this is a dream if you have burnt skin. There's a number of reasons actually why this is good. It's not just good for burnt skin. So listen up for some of my tips. So if you have burnt skin, this will stop it from peeling. It will heal it a lot faster and it has aloe vera, which cools and soothes the skin. So I forgot to mention, this is the Nivea After Sun Moisturizer. It has organic aloe vera and hyaluron and it has 48 hour moisture and it's instant relief so i burn a lot on holidays so i put this on um i've got a jumbo size you can get smaller sizes but i've got a jumbo size because i always burn but i don't just put this on when i'm burnt i put this on every single evening when i'm on holidays to prolong my tan so this actually prolongs your tan this moisturizes your skin keeps your skin hydrated so it stops the tan peeling and flaking off it keeps your tan for longer this prolonged my tan for about a week or two extra than it would have if i didn't put this on so there's so many benefits with after sun it's one of my favorites it's non-negotiable i always take this traveling with me then i like this nivea sun uv face sun cream so this is a 50 factor 50 sun cream just for your face it's non-sticky and it's shine control now you can actually put this on underneath your makeup it's kind of like an spf um 
so you can put this on underneath your makeup and then put your makeup on and then you're completely protected from the sun's rays because it is factor 50 so i really like this one it's just for your face it's non-greasy non-sticky and yeah i just really like this one too then another one that i like is the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion with spf 25 so this is just a face moisturizer i tend to use this one in the day and then I like to use this one in the night. Just when I'm showered, I'm clean, I have my fresh clothes on and we're about to go out for the evening. I will put this on just before I put my makeup on. It moisturizes my face and it gives me that SPF protection as well because the sun is still out in the evenings. Um, it's still there, it still can burn you. So make sure you have some kind of moisturizer with SPF in and I really love this one. Keeping with the skincare, I also really like this Garnier Skin Active. Um, aloe vera hydrating moisturizer so again if i'm burnt on my face i like to put this on before bed um, it's really cooling really hydrating and soothing on my skin and heals the burns um, a lot quicker also prolonging your tan as well so definitely try this one out too the only thing i don't like about this is the smell like after sun with aloe vera smells really nice this i don't like the smell of it but it's good now there's no protection from the sun on this uh, eye cream, but I really like it, so I wanted to mention it. So this is the Nivea Q10 Plus C um, eye cream for anti-wrinkle and energy boost for tired skin and fine lines. I always take this one traveling with me because it gives my skin um, an energy boost. Sometimes the sun can drain your energy and it makes your skin look dull and um, tired. So. I like to put this eye cream on it just revitalizes my eyes and it's really lightweight as well so it's perfect for traveling another thing that is kind of a must for me it's an essential so this is the Nivea hydro care lip balm but it has SPF 15 now a lot of people don't actually protect their lips from the Sun and your lips are gonna burn if you're lying in the Sun you've got sun cream on the rest of your body but you haven't got it on your lips your lips are gonna burn. My lips have burned before. I don't understand why some people miss this step. It is such a crucial step. You need some kind of SPF on your lips, whether that's a lip balm. You can also get um, sun cream lip balms by Garnier and things like that. But I really like this Nivea one because it's really moisturizing and it's got SPF 15. It's just gonna protect your lips and stop them from burning and flaking and peeling. It's just a must. Okay, now moving on to like cleansing my skin. So I like to take a micellar cleansing water away with me. They aren't too heavy to pack, not too bulky, but I tend to wear a lot of makeup um, traveling um, in the evenings and I like to wash it off with this because sometimes wet wipes and other things just can't get it all off. And rubbing your skin when it's sore from being burnt is not fun. So I like to use this gentle moisturizing um, micellar cleansing water just because it's less, less harsh on my skin. But I like to clean my makeup when I'm traveling with my face halo. This is a cleansing makeup remover pad if you don't know anything about a face halo. Really lightweight, perfect for traveling. You can reuse it over and over and over again. Um, you wash your makeup off with just water. You don't use any products on this, you just use water. Then you clean it off with soap and you can also put this in the washing machine as well. This is perfect for traveling. Really, really lightweight and good. And it's also really good for the environment as well. So I have to always take this traveling with me. But I also like to take some wet wipes with me, not for cleaning my makeup. I use the face halo for that and the micellar water. I like to take some makeup wipes, makeup remover wipes, just to wash my sun cream off. So before I will get in the shower, I will use one of these to wash my sun cream off and then I will wash my face again in the shower. This just kind of prevents sun cream getting into my eyes when I'm in the shower because it takes the majority of it off before I get in the shower. So that's what I like to use these for, um, just for cleansing my skin. Oh, I've just realized I've missed another moisturizer out. This is the Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Complete Booty 
day cream and it has SPF 15 so this is another um, just a moisturizer that I like to take traveling with me that has that SPF in to protect you from the Sun similar to the other ones um, I just wanted to mention a few different ones um, because this is obviously a lot cheaper than this one so I wanted to mention a few different ones so you could pick and choose which one would be best for you now the final things are makeup. Now the makeup I'm gonna mention has SPF in it. So it's kind of essential. You have to take makeup traveling with you that has SPF in if you want to protect your skin. So the first one is a foundation. I always take this traveling with me. This is the number seven essentially natural foundation in the shade Calico. It's a lightweight um, natural finish foundation. So it's light coverage and it has SPF 15. So typically when I'm doing my makeup in the evenings, I'll have put on SPF 25, then a primer, then I'll put my SPF 15 foundation on on top. You might think that's a bit excessive, but trust me, you are going to thank me for this in years to come because the sun ages your skin so much and you want to protect your skin from that happening. You want to protect your skin from burning, from aging, anything from the harsh sun anything you can do to protect your skin do it this is also really lightweight for traveling so it's perfect and then the final thing with SPF in is I have this bronzer this is the wet and wild color icon bronzer in the shade ticket to Brazil and it has SPF 15 this is an extra added bit of SPF protection because you put bronzer on your forehead where the Sun hits you on your cheekbones where the Sun will hit you um, so it's gonna give you that extra protection if say for example you didn't put much foundation on the top of your forehead and um, you just blended it up it's not gonna give you that much protection but if you're putting this bronzer on top that's giving you extra protection stopping the Sun getting into your skin and burning it so it's just a must for me you have to take some kind of makeup with SPF in I have more makeup with SPF and I have a highlighter and things like that um, but I just wanted to mention the basics today because I know not everyone takes a lot of things traveling away with them so I'm just mentioning the basics so that is everything in this video um, that I like to take traveling with me these are my essentials these are my non-negotiables I always take these traveling with me no doubt about it I protect my skin I still burn sometimes but I do everything in my power to protect my skin because I know my future self will thank me for it so I want to help you guys too I want to protect your skin as well so I hope you found this video helpful and beneficial to you and I hope you liked it if you did please give it a big thumbs up down below make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you can see all my other videos and thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you all in my next video bye